It is a sellout crowd and a boisterous crowd indeed at the Superdome in New Orleans. We welcome you to the 76th annual All-State Sugar Bowl where the unbeaten University of Cincinnati Bearcats take on the 12-1 and and defending national champion, Florida Gators. Caleb Sturgis set to kick it away and one of the most dangerous men in all of college football is Marty Gilliard. Four kickoff returns for touchdowns in his career, including the last two games which he played to end the season. A 90-yarder against Illinois, a 99-yarder against the Pitt Panthers. So here we go from the Superdome. And Gilliard comes up to get it from the seven. And he has stopped at the 26-yard line. And has thrown 26 touchdowns against just six interception wide open spread offense a very efficient offense and that's Marty Gilliard and he's out to the 32 yard line for the Bearcats on offense Isaiah P the sophomore running back dynamite receiving trio led by Gilliard along with Benz and Woods and this very underrated offensive line allows less than a sack per game but a tall order tonight against this Gator D Blitz coming. They get it away. That's the tight end, Gaduli. And he has a first down out to the 43 yard line. That's the play. Personal foul. Number 40 on the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. That's Brandon Hicks. They give it to Jacob Ramsey. He's off the left side and a big gain for Ramsey. He's inside the 30. There is a penalty flag down. Both Florida and Cincinnati, both are going to have to calm down a little bit. Take a look at our Merrill Lynch Wealth Management starting lineup defensively for the Gators. They have Carlos Dunlap back. He was suspended for the SEC championship game due to a drunk driving charge. And in that secondary, many believe number five, Joe Hayden, is the best cover corner in all of college football. So after the big game of 12 is a race. A 10-yard penalty makes it first and 20 for the Bearcats. Mike rolling left down the field, and it's in complete second down. Bearcats, after Jeff Quinn was named for one game, he just got the head coaching position at the University of Buffalo after this game tonight. They try and stretch it to the outside, and another penalty flag comes in. We Holding on the offense, number 66. Down. Penalty is declined. Third down. This opening possession for the Bearcats. Third and 22. And Pike rolling, chased by Dunlap. And it is caught. Can't just latch on to him. Of course, the Gators are without Brandon James, so Chris Rainey will get the first try at returning the punt, and he's dropped immediately at the 15 yard line. This undersized Cincinnati defense. But Tim Tebow won the Heisman Trophy, of course, his sophomore year. He hands it off to Jeffrey Demps. Aaron Hernandez in motion. They throw it to Wiley Cooper. And he has a first down out across the 35. Primarily the duo of Demps and Rainey. We'll see some Emmanuel Moody. They start in a three wide out group of Thompson. Cooper and David Nelson keep an eye all night long on Aaron Hernandez. And by the way, Marquise Pouncey, the center, spent five hours in a local hospital last night suffering from kidney stones. But they felt like he was okay and ready to play, and he's in there at center tonight. Tebow one way. Tries to bring it back the other way. Brought to you by Merrill Lynch Wealth Management. They play the 3 4. Third in the nation in tackles for loss. They're led by. Andre Revels, a senior out of Cincinnati's Coleraine High School. We'll talk about him throughout the night. Aaron Webster is the only returning starter from last year's Orange Bowl team. Shovel pass to Hernandez, and you can't play it any better than that. Although we're going to see no here as he pitches the ball, pass, no foul. just catches the helmet on the end, clearly grabbed the face mask. For personal foul going forward. Nope, they said no penalty. Hernandez 
Very close to a first down. It looks like he has it up. Tebow to throw it on first down to Emmanuel Moody, who checks in for the first time. And the former USC Trojan, who transferred two years ago. Second and two. Catch is made by Deontay Thompson, and that's another Florida first down to the. They hand it to Demps on first down. And a good, strong run for. Ninth play of this opening drive for Tebow and the Gators, and he is dropped. Back of the 35 yard line, and there's some extra pushing and shoving. Tebow across the middle to Thompson, and that's another first down to the 21. That's a penalty. It looked like against Dems, there was a whistle we thought we heard, but Tebow carries inside the five-yard line. The first and goal now for the Gators. And they give it to Demps. And he's dropped for a loss. Second down and goal for the Gators. Tebow with all day rolling left, finds Hernandez, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown. for the point after and it's blocked Walter Stewart got a paw on it could that be a big point later tonight and for a second time he will bring it back this time from the five and Gilliard into the open field and out across the 40 to the 45 yard line. Garden, Florida. And Cincinnati with the football for the second time. The quick slant to Gilliard. And he's across midfield to the 46 yard line. Remember, I on. Isaiah P. Gives it back to Pike. He's looking down the field to Gadouli. Tip ball. Great coverage by Joe Hayden. Mike out of the shotgun on a third and two, and he is dropped for a loss. Distance again. Jake Rogers, both the punter and the field goal kicker for the Bearcats. Rainey from the 10 breaks a couple of tackles and brings it out to the 19 yard line. She both 34 and 6 since taking over the reins as the Gators starting quarterback. And replacing the injured Jeff Dems is Chris Rainey, a 100-meter relay at the NCAA Track and Field Championships a year ago. But dropped back to the 31-yard line. Is second and 12. Tebow to throw it. Down the middle of the field. Wide open is David Nelson, and that's a first down to the 40-yard line. Tebow, 8 for 8, 91 yards and a touchdown already. And he's going to throw it again. Wide open again is Aaron Hernandez. Still on his feet. Inside the 15, down to the 10, and penalty flags. During the run, illegal block in the back, number three on the offense. That's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Urban Meyer said that the other day in our meeting. He is our version of Percy Harvin. Harvin, of course, having a great rookie season with Minnesota in the NFL. Knowing where to run for Emmanuel Moody. Tebow looking around, great protection, flag comes in, still being chased, and finally thrown to the back by Alex Daniels. He got a belief Cincinnati would Personal decline foul, this penalty. Illegal hands to the face, number 57 on the offense. And that's what 11 on a third and seven and a third and nine. Tebow steps, throws, catch made, but short of the first down. Right field goal try for Caleb Sturgis, who hit on 21 of 28 on the year. And it sneaks inside the left upright, and it is good. 
Two possessions, a touchdown, and a field goal. Gators lead 9-0. Routed Illinois, and then a 45-44 thriller in the final seconds of Pitt to cap off the unbeaten season. Gilliard for a third time. He brought it back 40 yards the last one. And he is hammered to the deck at the 23 yard. To Armand Benz won it. Mike on first down finds Ben Gadouli. Tears. They give it to Ramsey and coming up to make the tackle. That's good evaluation on Spike's part. Third down and Pike is sacked all the way back to the 15 yard line by Justin Trato. 9 0. Gators lead it. The All State Sugar Bowl on Fox will continue after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Remainder of the game, no torn ligaments. They had to snap it back into place, and uh, he is out for the remainder of the game. Well, what a punt by Jake Rogers out of his own end zone. And sometimes trying to get to that Defense edge. Defense offside, number seven, that penalty is declined. A great take on the Georgia Tech rambling wreck. What a great year they've had. And first down, it's Rainey. And he's up to the 39. Rainey filling in for Jeff Demps. A dislocated elbow, and as Chris Myers reported, he will not return. Nice catch by Moody. And then escapes a couple of would-be tacklers and has the first down at the catch. Tebow out of the shotgun. Throws. Catch is made by Thompson. A perfect 12 for 12. And it they give it to Moody. And he's up the gut. In Hernandez in motion. Tebow to throw it. First incomplete pass of the night for Tebow. Line right over into here on a short yardage. And let Tebow keep it. I don't know. This is very, very close. Tebow out of shotgun. He'll run it. And he got it. Tebow to throw on first down and still on his feet. Looked like he'd be dropped for a loss. He turns it into a four-yard gain. It's a gain of six by Tebow, second and four. Moody blasted as he took the handoff from Andre Rebels. On a third down and five for the Gators in the Cincinnati 26-yard line. Tebow, quick throw, Hernandez a catch. Inside the 10, spun down at the eight-yard line. First and goal for the Gators. Emmanuel Moody met at the line of scrimmage by Walter Stewart. The Empty backfield on second and goal, and Tebow just throws it up in the corner of the end zone. Deontay Thompson a touchdown. Unbelievable throw and catch under duress Tim Tebow Unbelievable body control gets his hands on the ball obviously only has to get the one foot down the Big things in store for him in future years and the point after is good So now with 907 to play until halftime the Gators extend their lead 16 nothing Completely shutting down the Oregon Ducks. Not many teams coach could say that this year. That's not an easy pass to shut down that group. Darren Williams, rather than Marty Gilliard, brings it out to the 28-yard line. Just a little bit of rhythm here. Mike on first down, and he is set. Very reminiscent of what we saw quickly because holding on to it doesn't hold much of the future. Pike down the middle of the field and jarred loose 
secondary. They're they're very comfortable. Face on the offense, number 71. That penalty is declined. Third down. Again, third and forever for this Cincinnati offense. Gators only rush three. Pike down the field for Benz. Nearly brought it in. Late into the play. Beautifully thrown balls by Pike. Punt away by Jake Rogers. And another good one by the Cincinnati punter. Bring the BCS National Championship game a week from today. Tebow on first down. Another completion. This one to Rainey. And a horse collar tackle for Cincinnati. Personal to be foul. Horse collar tackle. Number 50 on the defense. 15 yards. First down. Was there. He just grabbed the back yeah, of the, the jersey. Back. On first down, Tebow pump fake throws. Hernandez again. Inside the 10, first and goal Gators. What a night for Tebow and Hernandez. Moody on first down, cuts it back to the inside and into the end zone for Emmanuel Moody. is good and was 705 to play until halftime Cincinnati needs an answer no answer so far for the Florida Gators of the Sugar Bowl committee now you were the beat man last night. I was the night. beat king of, uh, of Bourbon Street. Right, Thomas Marshall and company getting us all set up to enjoy the sights and sounds of Bourbon Street last night for a little while. Pete in motion, and they'll give it to him. And Isaiah Pete out of Columbus Eastmore High School. Gilliard, a first down reception up to the 40 yard line. Mike on the sideline said, You know, I stepped up when Brian Kelly resigned. We need to step up now. That's an Aaron Hernandez like play for the Cincinnati tight end. His poverty upbringing, living in a Government subsidized one bedroom apartment with his mother and his older brother while his mom was working 17 hour days. His watch little brother excel all year long in here tonight. Black comes down and looking for Gilliard. And it's batted away. Offsides, defense number 41, five yard penalty, first down. And the injured Gator is Janoris Jenkins. Janoris Jenkins able to trot off the field. A first and five for the Bearcats at the Florida 45 yard line. They give it to Isaiah P. And he runs his way hard, running by P to the 40 yard line. A big collision with Brandon Hicks. And then some extracurricular bit. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on number 25 on the offense. That's a 15 yard penalty. It will be second down. Adazio will pretty much run this entire Gator program for the unforeseeable future. Read beautifully by Major Wright and each of the Florida Gators. Cincinnati has not converted a third down the entire game. This one third and a ton and Pike being chased gets it away. Catch is made by Ramsey and still on his feet. And that's going to be against Florida. That one far worse. He's over the top of the defender. After the play, but still going personal now. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Kind of caught him off guard. Now that's just a late hit. I thought maybe he came into it late. Play fake one way. Pike looking around. And just throws it away. Or they're okie doking Pike and dropping out. They're bringing him. Pass incomplete. He had an eye on Armand Ben. Play clock under 10. They roll Pike down the field. Incomplete. He had an eye on Gadouling. Kick is good by Rodgers, officially from 47 yards out. So this Bearcat offense, which averages 
Well, if you round it off, 40 points per game on the board for the first time tonight. 9-1-1 call made by Meyer's wife. He felt chest pain. He's certainly concerned about his heart and the health of his heart. And now 3-11 to go. Tebow with a 23-3 lead. Aaron and now looking for more. And wide open is Riley Cooper to the end zone. Well, Riley Cooper just blows by Dominique Battle. The play really uncharacteristic for this Florida offense. They're not a big play offense per se. First Tebow and Riley Cooper roommates the last couple of years. 30 to 3 Gators. Goodness gracious. And you get drawn into the pressures, as any of us that are parents know, into dealing with the ups and downs of the emotional state of these young athletes. Pike on first down from his own 24 will give it to Ramsey. And he is dropped by Brandon Spikes. Heard that story repeated over and over from a number of people who should be in the know and are in the know. Well, Meyer took over for Ron Zook in your hands as well, and that can take an emotional toll as well. Third down and Pike sat by the aforementioned Mr. Dunlap. Who that went off the toe, it looked like, of the punter Rogers. Tebow to throw on first down. And this is Rainey. And he is tackled at the 40-yard line. It's on the outside and why they've kept him out there. Tebow looking around and he'll keep it himself. All day to throw for Tebow. And then finally fell from pressure. This is as big and physical uh, a specimen as I've seen at the quarterback position in a long, long time. Be very interested to hear in the second half your thoughts, Brian Billick. Uh, Tim Tebow's future half. Illegal shift on the offense. Two men in motion without setting. Five yard penalty. Third down. Times you, if you can just wear out your team, you can even wear out your fans. Hernandez a catch tackled by Schaefer at the thirty. And from those types of things. Nelson the catch run out of bounds. They're trying times, but this is what college football is about as well. Tebow to throw it in the waning seconds. Corner of the end zone incomplete. Fox raised this Bearcat football program from mediocrity as that field goal is no good from 39 yards away. Some kind of apparatus that could be put in place to prevent this type of situation presenting itself. Jacob Ramsey on the final play of the first half, a frustrating half for one game interim head coach Jeff Quinn, the right-hand man of Brian Kelly for 21 years. 30 to 3, Gators in front, stay tuned for the Reese's BCS halftime show with Chris, Jimmy, and Eddie. That's coming up right after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Andy Pierre Louis playing his final game as a game. But he'll give way to Chris Rainey from the two yard line. And Rainey into the open field. And run out of bounds by the kicker, Jake Roger. At least on the field. He'll forever be a Florida Gator. And another strike to Aaron Hernandez is his throws tonight. And again, for those of you that weren't with us in the first half, Brian Billick is going to talk a little bit about Tim Tebow here in the second half. I can't play quarterback, and that's a good attitude to have. 
Thibault guns it over the middle. It's caught by Deontay Thompson. And he's caught from behind at the 11 yard line by Carl Johnson back in at left guard to begin the second half of the Gators. Thibault will keep it himself. And that did not fool Curtis Young. Well played. Very careful with the ball. Three touchdowns, no turnover. Play blown dead before it ever got started. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense, number 81. The five yard penalty, second down. He throws. And that's what's got the pro people most concerned. Lays it off for Hernandez. And he is tackled at the eight yard line. Is that the time that it takes? So much of it is anticipation. He'll take it and is denied the end zone, but he may have gotten a first down. Option it is to the edge. Moody, touchdown, get it. A variation of, of the option. It, it's all about turnovers. And when you have that elongated release, DB's ability to close on that, that's going to be a problem that has to be corrected as he goes into the NFL. Only three minutes have passed here in the third quarter. Marty Gilliard. They'll go into the NFL or not. Obviously, some graduated seniors, but as typical, Florida will have be well represented in the draft in April. Quick tip to Marty Gilliard. That'll be a gain of three on. And how he handles the athleticism, the matchups with his receivers and, and these Florida DBs is something that's going to be scrutinized. You always want to see your pl see play. Mike being chased, throws, catch made by D.J. Woods, his first reception of the game. Offside on the defense, number 40. That penalty's declined, first down. And that this is the best way for them to move the ball, only moderately successful tonight. Again, Gilliard across midfield. That'll be a gain of eight on first down. Be a returner for you, a lot of value with the pick by Gilliard. Isaiah Peed cuts it back to the inside. Well, that's good running there by Peed. And even with his team down 37 to 3, he has a first down to the field. Even though you're up 37 3, he do not want to let him in the end zone. Armand Benz, blanket coverage, who will take over the reins following the game tonight. Butch Jones out of Central Michigan University. That's where they hired Brian Kelly from, Central Michigan. Crossing route caught by Benz, first down. From ground zero and laying the foundation and continue building this football program. We'll watch this play. Catch made by DJ Woods. Chris, take it away. And, and coach. Uh, the recruiting class as well. As we watch uh, one more play, I want to ask you about what kind of challenge there is with the foundation that's been put in place here for Cincinnati football. Well, I think it's very exciting offense, and the big thing has been big plays and third down efficiency. All right, Butch Jones, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you for your time. Right. Thank you. We thank Coach Jones and wish him certainly good luck. It's a very small fraternity of coaches. The opportunities that present themselves. Incomplete pass. Mike on second and ten. Nearly intercepted. He had an eye on D.J. Wood. Take a shot here. Mike guns it over the middle to Woods, and he's very close to a first down. To draw that many kids out of the program. Wide open, and Cincinnati its first touchdown of the night. Marcus Wall, a linebacker who comes in in like situations by the goal line. The touchdown reception. Is good. Ball playing in his final game tonight out of White House, Ohio. The former fullback turned defender with a touchdown. Right now, you and I are going to do the Saints yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, they, they ought to be a little worried. They've lost two in a row at the beginning of the year. 13 and 0. Chris Rainey brings it out in Green Bay. Yeah. 
A little bit more like like college in that regard. Catch made by Cooper. Third down and two. Tebow steps into it, throws. Catch made by Cooper, a first down in midfield. You know, I like. Down. You know, you you miss on the first round on a quarterback, you end up doing games on Fox and, and College Bowl games. <laughs> Catch made by Riley Cooper inside the five. The size and the speed. Of course, a lot of people thought Cooper might try and give it a try with baseball. They look taking nothing away from uh, the, the old Gene Rayburn down show. Don't go down that road. Tebow That's looking good. around. And into the end zone. The 57th rushing touchdown in the career of Tim Tebow. An all-time SEC record, eighth game this season, with a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. He's playing one of the best games of his career in the final game of his career. The reason, because sending off, again, you made the point, Tom, the winningest senior group in the history of the SEC. Great way for them to, to go out. Gilliard, a yard deep in the end zone. Gilliard still competing out there, playing hard. Not big league enough no, to get no, that no, regular. No, we got to put together a little pool. I'll pay to have that thing in our game. Really? Well, Lord knows you've got the glue to do it out to the 40 yard line. He has quite the arm that Joe has, but he's got a lot of the intangibles. Uh, and the size isn't going to scare people because he's got a fairly fluid delivery. Pike, a very good athlete as well. We've seen him run effectively here tonight. Good enough for a first down on a carry by Jacob Ramsey. People will have. Can he be accurate in a more traditional pro style offense? Some of the athleticism there by Pike. And nearly in the second. All right, now, the one full repertoire of throws. That means deep balls, short balls. Uh, throwing out into the flat. You've got to be able to make all the throws, and that's what you look at at a eligible downfield number 66. Correction, number 66 on the offense. Mm. That penalty's declined. Third down. Dropping and throwing the ball. That's a lot to ask. The some other people on the field for Urban Meyer and the Florida Gators. When I mean, you're up 44 to 10. We're just now coming into the fourth quarter. By the way, Tim Tebow tonight has 471 yards of total offense. 471. Prior to the snap. Prior to the snap. Ball start, number 57 in the offense. Half the distance to the goal, first down. And well, that's the end of the third quarter. 44 to 10, the All-State Sugar Bowl on Fox. We'll continue after a word from your local Fox station. Another shotgun from his own end zone with a 44 to 10 lead, a second down and 13. And Tebow rolls, throws, incomplete. Interesting game, Alabama versus Texas this coming week. Catch made by Riley Cooper out to the seven yard line. And out brilliantly. Uh, when you talk about the evolution of the spread offense and the way it has taken different forms with different players, it will take yet another change now. Mike slings it to Marty Gilliard, and he has a gain of 11. Saga began a week ago tomorrow. Of course, they're very much in the hunt on the recruiting trail there. And, and there's a great deal of pride uh, in these institutions and, and these guys recognize that that's what this is about. It's about the programs and Steve Adazio coming in, taking over for Urban Meyer, depending upon how long that man he is, you know, and it was interesting. Hey, this is Isaiah Pete, his kid's still competing out there. Yeah. 
Not sure. Yeah. For a BCS championship, it was Adazio as Cincinnati gets the first down. It was just what he says. It's how he says it. It's one of the reasons that Joe Adazio is Urban Meyer's guy, at least on an interim basis. No flag comes down. And <laughs> they pitch it to Pete. But whatever the motivation was. Very impressive, by the way, on, uh, on television <laughs> tonight. He was scrambling around there for a minute, but, uh, you know, you break out the three-piece suit for this All-State Sugar yeah. Bowl. This is my first college game. I've loved it. Everybody rolling into the new year. We wish all, all of you the, goal, third down. the best. And what the level of commitment and what they think Urban Meyer is going to do. And I hate to say it, be so clinical, but follow the money. Incomplete. Our days after that, before... Urban Meyer came around to build him back up into a top two, three, four program in America, just like USC. You're going to find out about some of that pressure that Urban Meyer's talking about. What a catch by Armand Benz for a touchdown. I mean, Joe Hayden all over it. And Benz, a junior out of Pasadena, California, with a touchdown reception. And the sense of catch by Armand Benz. Point after it is good by Jake Rogers. Still a long way to go in New Orleans. 44 to 17, Florida. So in two weeks, they'll be playing right here. Against two, we don't know. Bouncing ball picked up by Rainey. And he's out to the 35. And that's not a stretch. Not only one of the most decorated, but truly one of the great leaders. Yeah, but that, it's all come on. <laughs> and I want him to stay dry. Tebow, big run and barrels his way. Performance of a sports car come together as one. Rainy wide open. Run out of bounds. How you do that? I, I don't know how you, you can't take a knee for the last 10 minutes. 475 passing yards running an orphanage in the Philippines. They call it Uncle Dick's where Tebow has spent so much time, raised so much money. Still on his feet and run out of bounds. Doing mission work in a foreign land and helping children that don't know the first thing about American football. Pretty special. As is tonight for the game. Touchdown run for Chris Rainey when leaping right over Dominique Battle into the end zone. You almost wonder as you see that shot of Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer. We know it's Tebow's last game. Is tonight Urban Meyer's last game? Who could imagine a college football season without seeing those two guys? had his scholarship pulled by Brian Kelly. He lived in his car working three jobs because he had to pay for one semester of his tuition, and he did it. Celebration beginning on the Florida sideline, although this one has been in check for quite a while. Travis Kelsey comes into the game for the first time, redshirt freshman. Florida with a win tonight. As they give it to Pete, come back to Pike. He's going to throw for Marty Gilliard. And he couldn't hang on. Personal foul, face mask, number four on the defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Comes to, to Florida and has a Tim Tebow and, and adds a whole other dimension to it. John Goble for an eight-yard gain. A head football coach for a long, long time. I mean, this is the first guy that Notre Dame has hired, fighting Irish, and Kelly also a good man. Had a chance to get to know him. The BCS top 10 in academic ranking. There's an incomplete pass. Of your players, the way you do as a college coach. Goble fell down as he made that catch on. Fourth down and nine for Pike and the Bearcats. Catch made by D.J. Woods, and he won. 
lunges forward trying to get into the end zone and came up a half yard short. Uh, so both these programs at least have some experience coming back at that key position. Flag. As first and goal here for the Bearcats. And losing the football and able to get it back to freshman Darren Williams. Now he'll say goodbye to those young people after the game tonight. In the end zone, a touchdown for Kazim Ali. Senior with his second touchdown reception of the year. Nice job if it hasn't been that close. But just finishing out the string. NFL could learn a little bit, maybe. But just like Steve Adazio, a line coach that now has an opportunity to become a head coach. Laney from the eight yard line. And out to the 30. So here we side. All Sugar Bowl records for Tim Tebow. Mike Gillisey, Urban Meyer. And they are coming for Tim Tebow. Passionate. Firing. Prior to the snap, false start, number 82 on the offense, five yard penalty. Hard to imagine. Breaking into the open field is Gillisley inside the 15 and tackled at the 10. For criticizing officials, the Carlos Dunlap situation and Snap, false start on the offense number 73. That's a five yard penalty first down Actually, to take a leave of absence rather than just you know abruptly saying that's it. Things getting a little sloppy here at the end. Prior to snap, false start on the offense number 79. It's a five yard penalty second down. And then once the decision was made or thought to be made there are repercussions to it all for the program. What's going to happen to his assistants. Does well, they got him with a water bucket. You saw him sneaking up behind him. But I, I will t tell you, you know, he very much cares about this university, cares about his coaches, and I'm not sure what transpired, and we'll find out exactly how it pans out. It was an extension of, okay, wait a minute now, I need to step back and make sure that these other people are taken care of, that the university truly wants to point this in the right direction. Uh, well, there's still something to be written here. Well, certainly, first and foremost, we wish Urban Meyer well Absolutely. with his health. Absolutely. And our prayers and thoughts are going to be with him. This team celebrates an All-State Sugar Bowl victory, 51 to 24. Got plenty of post-game coverage ahead. But first, we'll get you to Chris, Eddie, and Jimmy in the studio right after these messages.